Welcome to Bailworks. Something a little bit different today. Um, I've been restoring the side steps on my Land Rover Discovery. They're completely rotten, so I'm going to have to replace the vast majority of them. But something that is usable still are these brackets, um, though they're really rusted up. So I'm going to do something quite good fun. Um, I'm going to use electrolysis to uh, remove the rust on here. So it's quite a simple process. Just need a power supply, a container, put some water in. Um, that we can then hang this in. We then need some soda crystals, um, and then we'll need one other piece of metal which will act as our sacrificial anode. Um, but yeah, we'll get it all set up, and I'll put a time lapse on it so you can see what it's like. Um, and we'll get rid of the rust. So we've got a container with the water in. What we're gonna do is put a couple of small caps of soda crystals in there make sure you crystals dissolve as much as possible Then we get our rusty part. I've just hung it from a piece of wood so it stays stable. Then with your power supply, you've got your negative wants to go on the part you're cleaning and your positive goes on your sacrificial anode. And what that do will, everything is drawn towards the positive. So what that should do when we put the power supply on, which we're gonna set at about 12 volts, is bring everything we want uh, across from the part that we were trying to um, protect onto the new piece of, the, onto the sacrificial metal. So straight away here, we can see that now the power supply is flowing. We've got just over 12 volts third of an amp. You can see that the bubbles are starting to appear around the metal that we're trying to clean. And you can sort of see how it flows towards the anode. So after just a couple of minutes you can see on the our sort of sacrificial bit of metal, our anode, a sacrificial anode there, everything that's being attracted to it. It's literally been there for maybe five minutes at the moment. So during this time lapse, you can see how the material that is coming off the part we're trying to clean and heading towards the anode this bit of steel which is sacrificial um, it, it will rust up and you won't be able to use it again um, now at this point i've changed the sacrificial anode because i needed a slightly bigger piece and i've also adapted where the negative power was connected because I had it connected to the bits of wire the part was hanging from and I've connected it directly to the part now. That's what the water looks like at the end of it. Um, that anode will be fairly knackered now but uh, yeah so nice and mucky. So there it is after I spent about three hours uh, no, sorry, three and a half to four hours in the solution, and I've just scrubbed it up a bit with a wire brush um, to do with a bit more of a scrub, but this black residue is all that's left. Perfectly workable bit of metal, and all the rust is gone. So I only have five more of these to do. Um, I need to get a bigger container to do some, um, do more than one at once, but. It's a worthwhile experiment, it was a bit of fun, um, and I've just been able to leave that. I haven't had to do any manual sort of labour apart from a bit of the wire brush, um, and I've been off filming another video. So, um, yeah, it's a great technique. So it's a couple of days later, and I just wanted to do some bigger pieces. So these are some brackets um, 
Path to Land River for the side steps, and um, they're from opposite sides. So this one has been through the electrolysis process. It's about 12 hours, and this one hasn't. So you can see the difference. I have brushed this down with a wire wheel on a drill, but really, really impressed with how much has come off that. So this one just needs to get wiped down and painted, but all of that metal is nice and solid. Um, that one will go through now, and um, yeah, hopefully we'll get a very similar result. So yeah, really chuffed, really chuffed. Um, I should do more of that. Well, that's all for this one. Thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed that, you want to find out more about electrolysis or other random stuff, then uh, chuck us a subscribe and a, a like, and um, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.